Good morning, Quidditch fans. It's Wednesday, and I'm going to put my video in two parts today. First part is about Quidditch. So, I am on a Quidditch team. I am a chaser and keeper for the Macaulay Honors College Marauders, and this weekend we had our first game. It was the secret snitch scrimmages done by the New York Badasses, who are a community team. Um, and they're awesome. They're the third best team in Division Two of of all of the international Quidditch associations. So they're a very good team. We practice with them at times, so that helps us a lot more than helps them more than anything actually. Uh, along with Rutgers University in New Jersey, Yale University in Connecticut, of course, and Hofstra University out on Long Island. So it was a nice local Quidditch tournament. We lost all four of our games, but we had a lot of fun. We you know, improved, obviously, because this, this, these were our first games. And it showed me how Quidditch is very different from professional sports because we realize at the end that it's a game, that it's not at, that it's something to be enjoyed, that it's something not to be taken too seriously. Well, certainly great to leave it all out on the pitch. It's not good to hold grudges or anything. It's it's important to remember the fact that you're playing a silly game that comes from a Harry the Harry Potter series and that it shouldn't be taken too seriously, but it's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I was sore the next day because the, we were practicing the day before and then we played for four hours and yeah, but it was so much fun and I'm obviously we're practicing again probably for our last practice before the winter next weekend and I'm psyched. And that kind of now, this kind of goes well into the theme of fandoms. Trying to find what was probably the first fandom that I was in to begin with. Some sort of fandom taxonomy. It's a little thought experiment that I did. Really the first fictional show where I had a sort of, not only an obsession, but was able to come to an enjoyment of the style of the show, the writing of the show, the characterization present in the show was The West Wing. Um, which I'm sure you remember, it was a show that lasted about six seasons on NBC. Uh, featured the Bartlett White House of Josiah Bartlett, the uh, ancestor of the Declaration of Independence signer from New Hampshire um, and Democratic president, um, largely Democratic president, obviously. And it was just a really well-written, well-shot show. Or, you know, I mean, obviously its political views were often contentious, but technically speaking, artistically speaking, aesthetically speaking, it was beautiful. And from that, I became an absolute, total Aaron Sorkin fanboy. Um, I went back and watched with my dad Sports Night, which was a dramedy that lasted for a very short amount of time. Watched Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip for a bit. Um, I can't really defend it fully because the fact that comedians and comedy writers aren't really super genius, super visionary people. They're just dudes often who make a lot of dick jokes. And that, yeah. And then he wrote The Social Network, and I absolutely adore The Social Network. It was a fantastic film. Really, I love his, I love Aaron Sorkin's style of writing because it's very witty, it's very fast-paced, and even when there's drama, there can also be hints and grains of comedy and still. Um, and from there, obviously, it led to Harry Potter and Doctor Who and Artemis Fowl as a series of books that I remember reading insatiably as a kid. Um, yeah, and Pushing Daisies more recently and stuff like that, where, you know, these things, they grab hold to you. And they're very similar styles. Doctor Who and, um, and Pushing Daisies also had a similar style where they could both be dramatic and comedic at the same time. And in fact, Stephen Moffat has credited The West Wing as a sort of influence, something to strive for as a television writer. So it's all very connected. I think that's, that's the central key to my enjoyment of media, The West Wing. It's kind of scary how much that, that's true. Um, and it, also, something relatively important, Megabus is giving away tickets on their buses uh, for the new year, and I am going to be in various cities on the eastern seaboard. I am going to Providence, Rhode Island, Albany, New York, Boston, Massachusetts, and then finally Amherst, Massachusetts. So if you're in any one of those places and you watch these vlogs and you're friends with me on the Skype and the whatever, then say hi or something. We'll, we'll make plans. Uh, yes, that'll be a thing. 
And yeah, Robin, I'll see you tomorrow.